Hey, this is Sully for Antisocial News, and this is the body count for Monday, November the 6th, 2017. And uh, what I do here is I find uh, life or death stories from around the world. I find stories of war and conflict that are that are being uh, kind of ignored by the West, or I find stories that are being talked about by the West, but maybe not from different angles. And uh, I try to only source from uh, what we would all consider to be legitimate news sources. Um, and uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, for people who were sent here by Big Man Tyrone, the Supreme President of Kekstan, uh, thank you so much for coming. And uh, yes, uh, uh, all hail Big Man Tyrone, Supreme President of Kekstan for life. Uh, now on to some very serious uh, subjects. First thing I want to talk about is an error that I made in the last one where I had I had thought that the Miami Herald had not mentioned the name of a terrorist, or not a terrorist group, but a militant organization. But in fact, I had skipped over it uh, thinking it was uh, the area. And the name of the group is the Niger Delta Avengers. And I, I would like to point out, this is their website. <laughs> this is their website. They have a website, Niger, NigerDeltaAvengers.org. Um, and, uh, and yes, uh, I was saying that uh, if this was just some group uh, um, threatening the Nigerian government, uh, then then them declaring uh, the end of a ceasefire was could have been worded as just them threatening the government. But, but it, it appears that is actually the the um the way that they worded this here and uh they've done more reporting than the miami herald so i think the miami herald could have stretched it out a little bit longer i i still hold my criticism of miami herald also also no nda no no uh no shortening stuff to acronyms i mean come on that's that's uh, that's important don't blame nda uh, I love it. I, I love that they have a website. And uh, can I just say, too, their website isn't that bad. And um, apparently they uh, apparently they like Trump. All right. Well, that's interesting. Um, maybe they've got sort of a Biafra situation going on because there's a lot of Biafra Trump supporters. Um, uh, so we, we're going to go ahead and uh, I, I'm going to show you their website. I'll put a link in there if you want to read up on the Niger Delta Avengers. And I would like to thank the people that called me out on on missing the name uh king hanley thank you for noticing and uh bleach me up scotty thank you for noticing awesome awesome sauce i'm really glad you 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 called me out of that thank you for watching the video and um yeah wonderful moving on to uh more serious uh stories this one apparently was violent wasn't violent could be violent again We'll be keeping an eye on it. I'm going to check with Johnson, our Nigeria connection. But we are going to move on to United States of America, to Texas. Got a link to the USA Today reporting about the shooting in Texas. And um, I, I want to show you a diversity of opinions, though, on the subject, because this one is, is, is kind of a good bare-bones facts-of-the-case situation with some eyewitness accounts, which is good. Unfortunately, I've seen just a lot of ones rambling about his military uh, career, which uh, was many years ago and not fruitful and not successful and probably didn't have anything to do with the shooting. He, he just seems like a screwed up guy. Um, uh, there's people saying that he was a member of the Antifa, uh, which is a loosely amalgamated group of people um from the internet and real life and snopes has declared this false they found um they found one extreme example where they claim that he said a bunch of antifa things while doing the shooting and they are saying affirmatively that this is a false statement uh they're saying firmly it's a false statement, and they're saying Antifa United declared uh, declared it's a fabrication. Um, I I don't know what Antifa United is, but I don't I don't recognize their group as legitimate. Um, 
And I also don't know that there's inter-recognition between Antifa groups. I know there's multiple. So uh, I think it's sort of like how the Klan has a billion different clans and claverns all across America and Canada. And they don't recognize each other as as legitimate. Uh, I, th- I think it's probably the same thing with the... I'm pr- I bet it's probably even worse with Antifa. But you got a lot of people calling themselves Antifa that just printed out the stuff on the internet so uh or ordered the stuff from a from from a website so um i i really kind of want people to have a what have access to all the deepest darkest parts of the internet so i have went ahead and and um connected you to a 4chan uh thread about the shooter uh where uh, they have found some of his information they have found some of his pictures um uh through some stuff called doxing uh if you don't know what that is welcome to the internet it's where they can find out all your personals pretty quick pretty easy so yeah uh, some of these some of these people have access to his information and they've popped it out there um there's a lot of stuff that makes it look like he uh, sympathized with Antifa stuff and was apparently a militant atheist. So, um, uh, people keep talking about his military career. I, I think that's a complete distraction of of the motivation. And then a lot of people are pointing out, hey, he's dead. He's not going to rise from the grave and kill people again. So us, even me speculating about this right now, Jumping on 4chan and Snopes, uh, all I'm doing is hurting the people who are trying to grieve. Um, um, so, so if if that's the case, I I'm sorry if I'm hurting the people that are trying to grieve. I'm just really wanting to to uh, provide a well-rounded view of this situation because it is a scary, confusing situation, and uh, I just uh, it's ugly. I can't really figure out where to go with that. Uh, we're going to move on to Somalia. Um, as bad as some mass shooting incidents have been in America for the past um, uh, week and a and a month, uh, uh, we've uh, we've seen still just a fraction of the terror attacks that uh, Mogadishu has seen. They have seen 400 people get killed by terrorists just in the past month and in October. Um, absolutely horrific situation. And now there is another threat which is known about to the U.S. So check out um, uh, the U.S. or the African News report on the uh, U.S. diplomatic uh, threat. It's a specific threat uh, there in Mogadishu, which is why, which is why we got, we haven't had it up there for a while. Uh, I, I should have it up there, but that's why we got the Somalia flag up there in the in the uh, logo. Um, so we're going to be moving on. Okay, now this is why we got the Israel flag up there. Bereaved mother tells Netanyahu, what are you waiting for, the next disaster? Now, uh, settlers who lost their loved ones in terror attack on West Bank roads urge Prime Minister to transfer promised funds to improve infrastructure. We're driving on roads across Judea and Samaria without proper lighting without cell reception, says Mother of Adele Biton. Um, now, something I talk about a lot is infrastructure, especially when national dis- or natural disasters are what's doing all the killing. So check out, check out uh, this story. She makes an amazing case for why infrastructure is fighting for your life. Infrastructure saves lives. Um, it is the first line of defense before... Before police and military, before even self-defense, good infrastructure is your first line of defense, your first way to save save lives and fight for lives there. Ynet News reporting, excellent story. Um, and yeah, Israel, Israel defines fighting for your life. Moving on, Times of India uh, reporting out of Bangladesh. Uh, one of the people who attacked a blogger and murdered them with machetes a u.s blogger uh has been uh has been 
nabbed by the authorities there in Bangladesh. So good job on that. You know, just give them a cigarette and shoot them. I, I don't, I don't know what you can do with that. That's that's the free press there. You got somebody hacking them to death with a machete. That's that's some Cro-Magnon stuff. That is that is messed up. So uh, so good job on the Bangladeshi authorities for getting that guy. And uh, good luck sorting out Cox's Bazaar while you're at it. So there you go, Bangladesh. Sorry, your flag didn't make it into the into the title card. All right, uh, I put a, a WTF link in there. Uh, so you can check. I was in Times of India, and I just saw a story. I, I can't read the title. It's not a life or death situation. It's just wacky. So if you saw it and you're curious, the link is in the description of the video at the very end as the WTF link. So enjoy that. Enjoy the WTF link. Apparently, apparently ESP is real. That's all I can say. Um, <laughs> yes, the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, Region 12, PDA, 12 launch a massive manhunt for two other members of a big time drug syndicate operating in South Cotabato ne uh, following the arrest of two brothers and the recovery of more than half a million worth of illegal drugs uh, and an Islamic State flag Jiminy Christmas um, uh, so check this story out check out um, this is, they're still hunting down people from the whole Malte situation, and some of those people are all mixed up in the drug situation. So it's a big, crazy mess over there, which is why I, I'm still so proud to be rocking the Philippine flag, um, uh, and, uh, uh, to, uh, Robert, who suggested that I keep it up there, because he said, as a Filipino, he likes it, and I gotta say, as somebody who likes real news, uh, real life or death news from around the world. I love that picture. That picture just warms my heart when I see it, when I see those guys who just had victory over radical terrorism around the world uh, on the other side of the planet in Marawi, Philippines. I, I see that picture, and, it, and, and I think of how many Americans never heard of that story. And that's why it just it, it, it encapsulates what anti-social news is about. It is about fighting the bad guys it's about fighting for your life it's about dealing with tragedies like we're dealing with with the texas situation it's about putting things in perspective and, and it's also about knowing about these stories that that nobody else knows about no, nobody knows about marawi nobody knows about somalia uh, you know it's 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 why i'm doing this channel for everybody coming out and subscribing and liking, thank you so much, uh, Big Man Tyrone. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. This this means everything to me to see that number go up and to see people comment on my videos. And they, of course, you know, ninety nine percent of the comments are just people telling me that you sent them here. So thank you so much. Um, yes, I, like I said, I'm gonna be loyal. You got me for life. All right. Uh, this has been Sully for any social news body count report. Uh, November the 6th, 2017. Uh, you're in my heart, Texas.